Hello learners, I am back with another video and in this video I will tell you how to make an Android music player in Android Studio. So I have already written the code part, the code portion so that our work may be fast. Now I will not tell you how to create a project because I have already told that in my previous video. Now see this. I have created a project named music player and this is the UI file this is the main activity file and I will move on what's the Android manifest file so firstly the UI file in the UI file I have taken a list view I have given its ID as the main list a seek bar this is the seek bar this is the list view these are four buttons the seek bar has the ID of progress and another linear layout in which I have kept four buttons for our controlling purpose its previous play next and stop and I'm not going to tell you how this UI is made because my main focus is how the working is being done here so this is the code portion I'm scrolling it so that you may see it and write it for any query you can post a comment let's see the main activity file In the main activity file firstly I have taken some global variables they are list this is a list view they are four buttons this is a media player this is a seek bar and an array list now what's an array list an array list stores a particular generic file what is generic this is generic file here it can be string integer or anything I have taken it as a file because I will store files of the mp3 format in the list view now I have also taken a current value I will tell you what's used for now let's see these are the basic things which you already know I have called a function get IDs let's see what get IDs is this is get IDs do not worry where is the code portion written in it I will show you each and every line of the code in a sequence so that you may write it now see this I have taken any initialized IDs the list view previous play next stop and the seek bar what's seek bar seek bar is like a progress bar which tells you the progress of some function some thread or anything now you know what get ID is there for now the init the initialization this is the initialization initialization function here now the alice alice is the list uh, array list which we are using to store in the list view it is passed in the in another variable environment or get external storage is passed in get file what is get file here get file is this function which stores a file with a external store directory as its name this value will pass the current path of your or the outermost path of your internal device or internal storage now when your internal storage path is passed here it will store it in the file now I have taken another array list because our function get file will return an array list which will be stored in ls now the file will list all the files under this directory because it's an array it will store all the files now I have to run a loop which will check that either is your dear is your file not hidden and it's a directory then again it will call the get file function by adding all the things which are returned by the another called get file function it's like a recursive loop it will call its self until and unless it will not follow this condition what is this condition that your file current file is not hidden and it's a directory it means that hidden files will not be checked and if it is a directory then it will again call this function as otherwise if it's a normal file and it's having an extension of a dot mp3 it will automatically add this in our RAT that is the new list which we have created to return at last all the mp3 files will be returned and will be stored in ls now we have again taken an array list of string type ls name with 
which will store only the name of the file because we don't want to show that uh, dot mp3 extension to each name now this is a loop which will add each file name in the ls name we have created and then add array adapter array adapter is used to link up your array list type file or any type of uh, list in your list view new array adapter the context the type of layout do not worry about what is this just focus on how the working is being done this is a simple layout in and this is a ls name which is passed here now the as adapter has been set as ad so let's move on so we are done with the initialization part now if our media player is null then you need give it an instance and reset it we have created an instance of the media player class now we have run a thread this this is the current context of our activity run on ui thread will run this thread every time in each and every moment but this run function contains a post relayed by this handler of 1000 milliseconds that means the run functions upper portion of the code will run for every one second now what will it do firstly it will check that is our uh, media player not null because maybe it, if it is null then it will produce an error because we are going to use a media player file or class function here and now we have taken a variable in of integer type and stored the current position of our media player file which is, which is being played do not worry what is happening here just focus on what i am telling you it, you will get it when you will uh, see this video further the, here we have got the current position of our media file divided it by thousand because it is giving you the position in millisecond we do not want it in millisecond we want it in seconds then we have progress set the progress of it by increasing it by one this is the progress of the uh, seek bar this is the seek bar now for every second your seek bar will be updated so that when your music is being played the seek bar is updated to tell the progress of your music now the four buttons previous play next and stop as something to do i will come on that first let's see what's this list view is here the list view dot set on item click listener set a listener to your list view on each touch on its item what this function on item click is doing you can see firstly i have uh, i have enclosed its code in a try and catch block because we are using a set data source function in the media player file this media player file set data source function sets the source of the data of the media file that is which media file will be played the path of it is being given here firstly this will only be executed if it's a media if it is the media is playing now this code if the media is playing it will stop it will reset itself then the data source for this will be set by the list view array list dot get i i this <coughs> current sorry current path for that current the current item which is clicked of the list view and its path the progress of the seek bar is automatically set to zero then the media player is preparing itself and started to play and we have set the maximum the maximum progress of the seek bar as its duration the media player duration by thousand in seconds that is and we have used the cur variable to, s to know which file is being played currently and again we have just updated the value of the play button as play dot set text as pause because 
next time what you will want to do the play button is to pause the music now let's see what play button will do the on clicking the play button if it the media player is not playing then it will start to play and it the text will be set to as pause and if it is playing then it will be paused and the text will be set as play just simple now previous previous will firstly set the current data source as zero i mean the current seek bar progress as zero stop it reset the media file and then set another data source for it prepare that data start playing again just reduce the value of current by one because whatever the list view has given you the value of on click that should be reduced because the previous file is being played now again we have just set the maximum at the current data source maximum similarly for the next what we are doing here is we have done the same thing as what we have done in previous it's just we have just increased it by one and for stop we just have created a mp dot stop function uh, and set the current data source as g i hope you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you like my video